Guten Tag, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. First off, I want to thank you all for the continued support. It means a lot. In today's video, we're going to discuss the anatomy of an iron condor. What is an iron condor? Essentially, an iron condor is a strategy that benefits or profits from a stock trading sideways or trading within a pretty narrow range. This strategy benefits from a drop in IV, implied volatility, and it also benefits from rising theta decay. And as you know, theta, as time approaches, theta is getting stronger and stronger. Theta is not linear. It is actually, um, it follows an exponential decay function. So this strategy benefits from a drop in uh, IV, as well as an increase in theta decay. If you are under the belief that a stock is not going to move by much or move within a certain range, you can, you know, deploy the strategy. It will benefit from a stock not moving by much. So let's explore the anatomy in detail. The stock of interest today is AT&T. Some of you may already know this, but AT&T does not move much, even during a market crash. It does not move by much. If I think AT&T by October 15th, 2021, that's 33 days from now, is going to be between 25 and 28, I can construct an iron condor. An iron condor is also comprised of a call credit spread and a put credit spread. They're both credit strategies. If you add a credit strategy to another credit strategy, you have a net credit. Very important to understand. Now, this is not exactly an iron condor, so I have to go click on profile and adjust some, some, uh, some legs. Remember what I said, an iron condor is comprised of a put credit spread and a call credit spread. You're doing both at the same time, which results in something called an iron condor. So I'm going to have to adjust the 24. Go to 24. Now it's a long uh, put, and I have a short put. That is above the long put. That's a call, uh, that's a put credit spread, or another word for a put credit spread is a bull put spread. They are the same thing. Now I have to go and adjust my call side of this iron condor. Since it's comprised of a call credit spread and a put credit spread, I'm going to have to adjust the $28 strike and make it a sell order instead of a buy order. So now I have a call credit spread and a put credit spread that creates an iron condor. When in doubt, click on trade and look at that. It says iron condor. That's how you know you're on the right track. Go back. Now, always assess your max profit slash max return as well as your max loss. Before you open any strategy, Always be mindful of your P&L profile. You need to know what you stand to win and what you stand to lose. How could you start any position without assessing your P&L profile? It's absolutely absurd to me. So that's why we're always going to go over the max return as well as the max loss. Your, your max return here will always correspond to the credit. When you're doing an iron condor, or in other words, a short iron condor, that's the full name of the strategy, you will always have a credit. This credit here will always correspond to the max return. Always, always, always when you're doing a simple short iron condor. So this is your max loss, 84, and your max return is $16. What happens when you add these two together? You get 100, the 100, is also your margin impact. 
Now, for those of you who tend to use Robinhood, I'm in Canada. Unfortunately, I don't have that uh, platform. But those of you who do use Robinhood, this is what the collateral is. You're putting up a collateral of $100. The max you can lose out of that collateral is $84. And the max you can make is $16. That's what it means. And where do they get this $100 from? Well, it's very simple. They simply take... 25 minus 24, what do you get? $1. 29 minus 28, what do you get? $1. Now, remember, in the world of options, we always got to multiply something by 100. And that's the case here. We have a width of $1 and a width of $1 here. But we got to multiply that $1 by 100, which gives us $100. So you're going to have to put up a collateral of $100 for this strategy you immediately get $16 and the max you can lose is $84. When do you start to lose money? If the stock on expiration is between 25 and 28, you keep this whole max return and you get back the full collateral. You're happy, right? Obviously, you make the profit. However, if AT&T expires at $24.99, you'll get back only $99 of this um, collateral that you put up. So you're actually, you're losing, right, a dollar back, but you, you already gained that $16. So it results in what, 16 minus $1? You, you actually have a net profit of $15. So what I'm trying to say is, for every one cent below this $25, you lose some of this collateral. Same thing here. For every cent above 28, you lose collateral. This $100 here, you lose some of it. The max you can lose is the full amount if and only if we get to 29 dollars if the price expires at 29 dollars you will not get back this full margin you'll get zero back same thing for here if the strategy or if the price rather of at&t uh expires at 4 p.m at 24 dollars you lose all this collateral you still keep the 16 dollars but you lose all the collateral, which results in you actually having a loss, right, of $84. Why is it $84? Because remember, you actually got $16 up front. So the net loss would actually be $84. Remember, for every cent above $28 up to $29, you, lose, you can potentially lose all your collateral, which is the margin impact here of $100. Same thing for here. Every cent below 25 up to 24, you will lose the full margin. Very important to understand. Now, let us go to one of my favorite sites, optionsstrat.com. Now, this is a much more visually appealing, um, you know, website, and that's why I use it. You can easily see your P&L profile. It's much more visually appealing. Here, look at this. We go here. All right. So, if we actually land at $24.82 on expiration, October 15th, I will break even at $24.82. And I will also break even at 2818. Now I know the numbers are a little bit off here. Okay, let's just pretend for a minute that this actually says 16 here and this actually says 84, right? As it did before. 1684. It's gonna be a little bit off because option strat, I believe there's some type of delay. So that's why the numbers are a bit off. But it's still the same concept. Nothing has changed. This is still an iron condor or a short iron condor if you want to be uh, use the ex extended form of the title. So if I if the price expires within the range, 
Notice how I profit. The green implies that you profit up to the break even, which by the name you break even. Revenue equals your cost. You don't make money, nor do you lose money. Anything up below that point starts losing money. Same thing for the call credit side of the strategy. You have losses after 28 18 look at that and the max you can lose is always the max loss right you cannot lose more than the amount that it says max loss is 82 means you cannot lose more than 82 even if you tried you can lose more than that so it profits as you can see if it stays within the range as long as you are within the range you make money that's just how this strategy works. Anything outside of this range, you automatically lose money. But the max you can lose is the max loss, right? You cannot lose more than that amount. So your risk is defined and so is your profit. So that's a short iron condor. I hope this helps. If you have any questions at all, as always, feel free to message me in the comment section. I'm here to help you guys. Thank you all for watching. And on this note, have a fantastic day. Thank you very much.